bubble elevators work automatically, meaning by simply stepping foot inside, players will be carried up to any height without needing to do anything more. They work using water, but despite players being completely submerged, they will not drown once the elevator is up and running. This design is suitable for both Java and Bedrock editions of Minecraft. You will need all of the following items. A water bucket. A door. A block of soul sand. Building blocks. Kel. If players instead want to make a downward traveling elevator, they should opt for a block of magma instead of block of soul sand. The amount of building blocks and kelp necessary is dependent on the height of the elevator. For every block tall that the elevator is the players will need a single piece of kelp and four blocks to enclose the water. In this guide, we'll use glass, but any full block will suffice. It should also be noted that the kelp is only temporary for the build. So there is no need for players to be worried about wasting any kelp. To start, build the vertical tube that will encase your elevator. There should be a two block gap left at the bottom of one of the four sides, such that a wooden door can be placed, the door will prevent it from flowing out. Now you need to place water at the top of your tube and let it flow to the bottom. Next, players need to fill the entire tube with kelp. To do this, place a single piece of kelp at the base of the tube, then swim up while holding the place block button. This will fill the entire tube with kelp. Keep in mind that as the bubble elevator is not yet functional, players will lose oxygen while they swim up and place kelp. Players should be cautious as to not drown if they are dealing with a very tall elevator. It may not seem very obvious why kelp was just placed, especially if it's just going to be broken anyway, but kelp actually has a unique property. Kelp turns all of the water it touches into source blocks that are necessary for the bubble elevator to function. Players making small elevators could just place all the source blocks manually, but that becomes tedious over greater lengths. Finally, to finish the machine, players should destroy the kelp and replace the block beneath it with soul sand. And there we have it, an easy way to get up and down, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.